Hi, and welcome to another Sealed in Time production, where we bring historical photos to life. Please consider leaving a like and a comment, letting us know which photo is your favorite. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified whenever a new video is posted. Thanks for watching, and as always, enjoy the show. This 1938 photo depicts a street ice cream cart in Budapest, Hungary, reflecting a slice of everyday life where local vendors played a central role in community life. In November of 1965, Chris Morfay captured the England goalkeeper Gordon Banks at Filbert Street when a dog invaded the pitch. A photo from Adam Pansuk's 1978 Kartzibi series, which documents rural Polish life, highlighting the enduring cultural traditions between the people and their land. John Pratt photographed Russian dancer Sonia Petrovna in 1966, capturing the elegance and grace of the young ballerina in a candid Parisian street setting. This early 20th century photo shows the bustling entrance to the port of Blankenberga, Belgium, a key maritime hub that reflected the nation's strong fishing and trading traditions. The photographer Arthur Siegel documented Baltimore's shipyards in 1943, capturing the essential labor force that contributed to America's industrial efforts. Wynne Bullock, known for his poetic vision of nature, captured this intimate moment between a young gentleman and a salamander in the 1950s. This photo, taken around 1912, showcases a star motor car taxi, a common sight in early 20th century urban settings. This 1955 photo captures the bustling King of Pizza restaurant in Boston, Massachusetts, a popular local eatery during the mid-20th century. A 1960s New York City photo of a woman at a laundromat by Bruce Davidson captured everyday life in urban America. English actress Joan Rosalind Clarkson, born in March 1904, starred in The Mystery of Dr. Fu Manchu, based on the 1913 novel. Singers Diana Ross and the Jackson Five relax on a warm summer day in 1970, socializing by her convertible. The Golden Gate Bridge, under construction in this 1934 photograph from Fort Scott, took four years to build, with each tower containing more than 600,000 rivets. A young female employee at the John H. Glenn Research Center, formerly the Aircraft Engine Research Laboratory in Cleveland, Ohio, is seen testing chemical properties of fuels and lubricants. Author Rudyard Kipling, best known for the Jungle Book, is pictured in his study in 1895. Entrepreneur Henry Ford drives one of his early automobiles, passing a friend in a horse-drawn carriage. Photographer George W. Harris, 
from the Harris and Ewing studio in Washington, D.C., captured this 1905 image A young man stumbles upon an old bicycle destined for recycling and decides to bring it home, but pauses for a rest on a street in northern France, 1967. Photographer Jean Agalou captured this young lady, adding her to his collection of the most beautiful women of France in the 1910s. A mother recently returned home from a short hospital stay and her happy family poses for a portrait in 1919 Sweden. On a hot summer day in 1948, a group of young men cool off by jumping into the Hudson River from the roof of an old factory building in New York. A photo by Lewis Hine shows Mrs. Teixeira and her children, Mary J., 11, and Manuel, 10, using special rakes to harvest 40 measures of cranberries daily. Two gentlemen enjoy early morning fishing from a canoe using barbellous hooks in the White Mountain National Forest, New Hampshire, in 1926. A northerly view toward the Skinny Bridge over the Amstel River captured on a cool, wet spring afternoon in late 1890s Amsterdam. As winter neared its end in 1903, workers at the local ice house began cutting surface ice for harvesting from the frozen lake. The old Cincinnati library, with its peeling paint, overcrowded shelves, and poor ventilation system, was demolished in the 1950s to make way for a parking structure. A female circus performer, known as the Iron Woman, is featured in this 1905 advertisement poster. Three senior high school girls in Southington, Connecticut, pass by the local post office daily on their way home, as seen here on a warm spring day in 1942. A Ray Russell 1947 image showing a crib and diaper service delivery man on his lunch break at a Long Island diner. A 1948 photo titled Le Libraire captures the Parisian book trade through the lens of photographer Adolfo Kaminsky. A 1940 photograph documents the residents living in Shacktown by the river in Dubuque, Iowa, highlighting the hardships of the Great Depression, 1940-1945. 